Coach. Lucky you guys. So what are your thoughts on these uh, orange hair-colored guys <laughs> running around under your chair? You know, it's like I leave for two weeks and you just don't know what the heck's going to happen here. So I don't know whose crazy idea that was. But, uh, you know, a couple of guys like McCade and Braden, they don't really even have to do it. They're, they're blonde anyhow. But uh, a few of the guys are fighting it, like Jake Curhan, you know. Uh, he, he's not too sure about it. But, uh, you know, they'll all have something died for the game whether it be a beard or the hair so did they work on you oh yeah yeah but that ain't gonna happen <laughs> that ain't gonna happen so whether it's you know overalls uh, during fall camp or dyed hair for the bowl game whatever it's i think it's great you know the guys it's you know it shows that they're together and tight you know so is this something you've seen throughout the years kind of just one unifying thing to bond offensive lines yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's something they decide they want to do as a group, and, and it kind of, like, like you said, bonds them together a little bit, and uh, you know, they they may look like idiots, but that's 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 their that's their prerogative. So, Can you talk a little bit about how uh, the line has been able to round back into shape with guys getting back healthy these last few games, and what kind of an impact that's had on the offense. Yeah, I just think just getting some some continuity back, um, not having to. You know, mix and match guys. Uh, you know, obviously having Mike Safel back at center has been huge for us. Um, you know, just his leadership and knowledge, and obviously talent is a, is a big, big plus for us. Uh, you know, and being able to put a guy like Matt Sindrick back at his natural position at guard. You know, although he did a great job for us filling in at center during that time. Um, and I think just you know, just the offense as a whole. You know getting healthy, obviously getting Chase back and, you know, some of our receivers back and whatnot, you know, just getting everybody kind of clicking on the same page, the run game, the pass game, you know, it's just it's just coming together. And it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, we hit that point in the season that, you know, we had those injuries, but it's no excuse. You know, you still got to be able to operate and, and do things well, but it's definitely been a plus to have these guys getting back. What have you seen from McCade now that he has 12 games under his belt as yeah. a true freshman? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm very impressed with him. Uh, you know, the uh, nothing's intimidated him. Um, he goes in, he battles. He's a tough guy. You, you really can't tell by his attitude or demeanor out there that he's a true freshman. Uh, I haven't seen him back down or, or, like I said, get intimidated by by any situation or any kind of anybody he's played. Um, and the big thing as a true freshman, normally you see those guys kind of get worn down towards the end of the season. He really hasn't. He's he's kept his his performance pretty darn high throughout the season, which is a big big plus. Can you talk a little bit about your philosophy on um, who you bring in as recruits? Um, some of these guys, I guess most of them are kind of in like the 270 range, which is probably a little light to play early on, but mm -hmm. they get stronger and everything. Can you talk a little bit about yeah. that? Well, I've always favored athletes recruiting offensive linemen that are athletes first and uh, um, you know if, if I feel like they have the frame uh, to add the weight that's going to be necessary and the strength that's going to be necessary to compete at this level like I said I'll always try to if I'm going to make a mistake I'm going to make a mistake on a guy that's an athlete first um, so having said that you know secondly it's, there got to be guys that are that that football is extremely important to them. That are going to spend the time, you know, not only in the weight room but in the film room, and are driven to be better. Um, you know, self-motivated guys. So that's what I'm always trying to look for. Obviously, that second part of it's you know hard to judge sometimes. You know, you can't really open up a guy and look what's inside right here, but just by being around him enough to get a feel for the importance of the game and the importance of improving over their careers. You know, offensive linemen are, are it's the type of position that really you develop over time. Um, very few guys have come in, you know, McCabe being an exception, that, you know, are just ready-made to play. Um, so, you know, you, you just want, you, you want to see that growth potential about them physically, mentally, emotionally, um, and just a, a desire to play football and get better at football. That's what I'm looking for, you know.
not always perfect at it. I've got my share of skeletons in the closet too, but uh, hopefully that's the kind of guys we're attracting here. What are you seeing along those lines with uh, with the, the new guys that are redshirting this year with, with Brian and and with um, Braden? Braden. Braden. Um, I like. I think they're both going to be very very good players. Uh, they both have a toughness. They both have those intangibles that I was talking about about football being important to them. Uh, they're handling themselves in a mature manner. Um, I think you'll see both those young men playing a lot of football for us down the road. Can you look ahead to next year? I mean, you got a lot of guys coming back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have yeah. hopes for next year? Yeah, I mean, big yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we, we, we obviously have two, two guys that were slated to be starters in General Williams and Will Craig coming back. Um, the competition just alone, I think, will make us better. Um, you know, iron sharpens iron, and, and uh, guys getting out there and competing every day against each other uh, for those starting spots are, are going to be great. It's also going to be nice to have experienced guys where, I mean, Jay Curran's played every snap this season. Um, you know, Matt Sindrick's played every snap. You know, McCade, with the exception of the first game, has played every snap. And, you know, it, it takes its toll on the body, so it'll be nice to be able to have you know, eight, nine guys that you feel like you can put in there and, and not drop off so, and, and give some some guys a little bit of a, a blow for their bodies, you know. So, um, but I'm, I'm excited about next season. And, and like I said, the competition level within the group, um, it, 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 it should be good. Speaking of depth, do you have an ideal number of guys you like to bring in per year or have on scholarship at any given point in time on the offensive line? Well, um, normally there's a limit on that just because, you know, you're always dealing with that, you know, 85 cap and your initials and all that. But, you know, I'd like to have 15 at least, you know, and if I could sneak six. Dad, there's been years I've had 17. Um, but most of the time it's been 15, so it's really going to depend. This year we only have room to take two uh, on scholarship, so um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Next year we'll, we'll have to recruit more because we'll have a, a fairly significant senior class leaving us. So, um, you know, got to get busy for, for next year's class, you know, three to four guys. You know, I, I hate to have to recruit more than, than like four, you know, it, it's just hard to get that many guys all coming in at once. So you'd like to have the classes spaced out um, where you're only graduating, you know, two, maybe three guys at the most each year. Um, next year, because guys redshirting and whatnot, you know, it'll be a little bit unbalanced in, in that regard. Okay, anybody else? Everybody good? Thanks, guys. All right, okay. thanks, fellas. Yeah, yeah. thanks a lot.